This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hi, so here it is, still in process, still in process, uh, we still have quite a long way to go, but it's getting there. So I guess the idea is very simple. What we're going to do is I'm going to walk around with, with you guys uh, in my hands and I'll, I'll show you different, different areas that were done here um, in the past uh, few months and we will just kind of investigate the process and yeah just see what the builders have been up to so i guess without any further ado let's begin well this seems like a pretty nice corner to have a conversation so since the last time i've shown you this um, the whole main construction has been raised and the i should probably should do it this way you know eye contact a little bit more of that personal touch but anyway uh, the whole construction has been raised and you can see in the top there's there are these steel beams that are going to be above the window holes naturally and above them you see this kind of monolithic concrete ring and that ring actually goes around the whole building and this is uh, to reinforce the whole structure so that uh, the building is not flimsy, so that, that it's not wobbly, right? So this is what has taken quite, quite a long time to do. Um, without that, uh, the building would need quite thick construction, quite thick walls. Um, so this is uh, just a time and money save when you do it this way. Our little patio area so I, I'm trying to talk as close to the microphone as possible so that uh, the recording doesn't go to crap but basically here we will have that uh, patio I will put like a render of it uh, somewhere on the screen and you can see that like the top uh, part the main construction has been already done it's full-on steel beam structure because uh, the engineer calculated it and we do need like the outer ring to be made out of steel and not wood for it to handle the um, snow loads during winter but said that and I'll put on my glasses it's the Sun is way too bright um, said that the inner beams are going to be indeed wood naturally we do have like the blocks for, uh, for the exterior kind of retaining wall there that's, that's holding it up and making it cheaper so that it's not like a floating uh, roof. And besides that, just seems like a pretty nice proportion. I'm pretty happy with how this area um, is turning out. Here's a little bit of a close-up of those beams. So you can see those blades, uh, those blades are going to be the parts to which the wooden uh, smaller beams uh, attach and on top of that we will probably have some sort of a, a plastic covering to, oops, a plastic covering to uh, basically hold out the rainwater uh, from the patio. Maybe only in portions, we'll see once we get there. Okay, so inside we still have dirt for dirt for floor um, there's still no concrete and that's for a pretty good reason and the reason is um, the plumbing is still under construction so there are these kind of a uh, uh, wastewater pipes as well as the uh, wherever they are like regular kind of clean water piping uh, that's gonna come in 
as well as we will have, uh, I think, portions of electricity are going to be routed through uh, uh, underneath the house. I don't remember, I would need to check that, so don't quote me on that. But basically, once the piping is done, then we can begin working on the floor. Well, not really. The very important part, uh, before you, and I'll just, let's do it this way. <laughs> Very important part before you start working on the floor is to encapsulate, encapsulate the whole building to make sure that uh, the exterior forces such as wind and water and cold air and whatnot don't come in to the building. Um, so for that, windows and doors, exterior windows and doors will need to be placed. And those have been ordered and they will arrive in a uh, a few weeks or so, but before that, uh, the piping needs to be done, then the windows come, come in, and then the floor will be uh, laid out. And it's just gonna be like concrete floor, you know, cast concrete floor. Let's investigate if there is anything else for me to show you. There we go, I found electricity. So this is <laughs> right now how the routing for electricity looks like and how it comes in. Yeah, um, that's going to be cleaned up and will be done in a much, much better way. God damn it. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. We're here. There we go. I climbed on a, on a small hill so that we see a little bit more of the building. Oh man. I'm out of breath. Anyway, so this is the, a view from a little bit higher up. Actually, I can raise you guys a bit more. Let's see. I have no idea if you see anything. Hi, here I am. <laughs> but here's the property right now. Okay, so there's not much else to talk about. You can see that the uh, ceiling or the roof has been done, uh, but everything is really, really in early stages of construction, but we do have a structure in place. So the next update is going to be probably in a few months, honestly, because I want the floor to be done, I want the windows to be done, I want most of the um, base architecture to be done for me to show you how it looks like with a little bit more of a finish because right now you know cool bricks I guess oh, yeah hope this has been a interesting update uh, this is my first time trying to film something on the spot <laughs> you know in the scene so uh, sorry for the for the jankiness of the whole thing I should probably be <laughs> I should probably be here. Um, and one thing is a thank you to our sponsor for today, Skillshare. Add time. Skillshare is an online learning community. They have thousands of classes covering all different types of skills and especially creative skills. They have a premium membership and this gives you an unlimited access to all of the classes. It's a great place to fuel your creativity because you can look up any class that you might be curious about or a skill that you'd like to tackle. For example, I am really bad at taking pictures and filming videos in dark high contrast setting, but at the same time, those are the type of visuals that I find most aesthetic. So I jumped on Skillshare, found a class called Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Justin Bridges, focused up for two hours, learned a bit of German because the website decided that they need German subtitles, took some notes and look at me now, taking pictures like a big boy cameraman that I am. So now if you look at the video description, you'll see a link. The first 1000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Add over. And I guess I should say a proper bye-bye this way with my face in the camera. So thank you for, for watching these series. Um, it's very fun to document these things and to actually you know, show the thing. 
being created you know from from the scratch from drawings to finished product and we are honestly we're well on our way uh, I would say we're 70 percent done so there's gonna be I guess two or three more of these videos until we've reached the final stages of the interior design uh, where we will have the furniture in place and everything is gonna be pretty but that's gonna be in a while <laughs> most likely in a while anyway thank you for watching uh, make sure to subscribe to not miss the final steps of this uh, small little journey that we have I'll see you bye